So one of my life goals is to be absolutely fluent with ASL. Um, I so I want so I know a lot of ASL words um, from growing up uh, with deaf people in my family, but I want to know more words. Um, I want to go to express myself better in signing and in sign language in general. Um, so I know, or I, so in the past I read <laughs> on the internet that you need to know 10,000 words to to become uh, a say say person I don't know how you say fluent but that's how I would say it like fluent F L U E N T I can sign faster than I can spell with my head so um, so I, I wanted to learn 10,000 words but I was like 10,000 words that's a lot of words turns out to be fluent you have to know actually around 20,000 words and with a university education you need to know like 40,000 words I'm like that's a lot but it actually turns out that people who are fluent know about 5,000 words only or just generally use about 5,000 words and I thought hey that is a very approachable goal uh, in in um, learning a language because for me or for me I know uh, how to make sentences in ASL and I know the grammar right so like for now I just need more tools I need more words to throw into my practice sessions um, when I'm when I'm communicating uh, with my family and friends so what I'm hoping to do is just get more words in my toolkit so that way I can assign more effectively and what better way to do it than to go through the list of 5,000 most frequently used words as offered by www.wordfrequency.info so in this uh, ongoing series of videos what I'm planning on doing is uh, going through the list and seeing hey is this word that is in English uh, or of the 5,000 most common words in English a part of ASL and if it is do I know it and if I know it I'll give it a, a yes which gives me a score that I'll keep track of and this segment will this session this series of videos will end when I know 5,000 words <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be take a while, but I think it's gonna be kind of a fun thing because we might learn a lot of things along the way. And I think this will be a really cool way for people who are like, hey, I'm kind of interested in AS ASL. Uh, what's how how hard is it to get into it? It's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty interesting. So um, let's just go through it. So let's start with the first word. The the is not a word in ASL. So hey, that saves me some time. Articles such as like the uh, a um, to these are like components in English that help to set up for like nouns and, and verbs and stuff and those aren't part of ASL because it's not part of the ASL grammar it is a part of a signing system called exact signing English but we're not doing that today <laughs> I'm learning it's I'm learning American Sign Language not exact signing English or something like that uh, B also is not Let's see, is B become B B is I'm going to be tired or I'm going to be tired. I don't think you would say that in ASL. I think you just say me tired. If it's something in the future, you can say you can put a future modifier on it. So again, these are articles that aren't put into ASL. So the and B, not a part of ASL, as far as I'm aware. In fact, you know what? Let's look this up because I'm not so sure about B. A S L B. I bet you it's not. 
I bet you B verbs are not in ASL. So yeah, this is a good place. Oh, I'm wrong. State of being bay. Oh, wait a second. I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> the state of being verbs are not used in ASL. Um, great. So, hey, like s some people, let me see what this whole thing says. I'm including the signs for be and verb here because I teach an ASL linguistics class that occasionally refer to the concepts of be verbs, but they're not a part of ASL. Um, you just, you just, if you're going to talk about be as if you're talking about English, you need to have a way of doing it, but it's not a part of ASL. So fantastic. We're doing great so far. Be verbs, not a part of ASL. All right. And is a part of ASL. And it looks like this. And, and the way how I think of it is like, there's a big like piece of taffy and you want a piece of that <laughs> and you want a piece of it. You're taking a little piece of that. So you're going to say, Hey, here's a bunch of stuff I'm saying. And I'm going to say a bunch of other stuff right next to it. So that's what I like. And, and, and I do know that and I'm giving myself a score. I'm at one. We're at three of, of 100 of, of blank, of blank, of, of I don't think of is a part of ASL. I'm gonna say that. Let's see if I'm right. Of, of. I mean, unless we we're just signing it like OF. Of, I don't think that it makes sense in ASL, because ASL of I don't think so. Of uh, please, come on. The sign of is generally done by signing connect. The connect sign can be used to refer to many different types of hookup. Really? Also have the variation, but what? I've never seen this before. And that is something I, sh I should note. Um, I don't know if that's a thing. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Of. So... My ASL may not be the same thing as what, uh, uh, you know, is commonly taught in schools, but I've never heard of this. Yeah, of is this. This is what I'm familiar with. OF. No one would make a sign that looks like this. You just say OF. It's a quick little thing to say. So, like, um, Georgia Institute of Technology, just OF. Just OF if you're really going to say that whole thing. Or you can just say, you know, Georgia Tech, like GT, right? All right, so let's see what LifePrint said again. The sign for of is generally done by signing connect. This is the sign for connect. So maybe what, okay, so let me just read the whole thing. The connect sign can be used to refer to many different types of hookup concepts, including of. So what LifePrint is saying, and LifePrint's really a big authority on, you know, like how ASL is. He's been doing definite or making a dictionary of signs for, for years and a really, really great teacher overall, too. He ha puts all of his classes for free online. And is a really great resource. But he's saying, basically, we don't sign of. You just sign connect. And this is the sign for connect. And for of, I think if you're going to forcefully do of, you do of, which is like the really simple way of doing it. So is it a part of ASL? Now, that's a great question. I don't know. I'm not really an authority here. I'll still say no, because normally I would sign connect. Or I would initialize it so that I wouldn't have to say the of in the first place. But let me say of no. What's going on here? Why do I get a reference error? Oh my. Let's. Hey, buddy. There's my cat. Hey, buddy. How are you? You okay? You want to throw this for you? You want to throw it? Ooh, okay. So my cat knows how to play fetch. He's going to be back in like a minute but it's okay, we can do this. A is definitely not a part of ASL. That's just an article used in English. In looks like this. I'm putting something in something. Like here's a cup, and it goes in. Likewise, out. In, out. Pretty easy sign. Definitely part of ASL. Two. No, definitely not. Definitely not. I'm going to the store. You wouldn't say that. You just say me, like you say me. I'm going 
no, or I'm going to the city, or I'm going home, I'm going to home, I'm going to, yeah, ASL does not have to. I'm trying to think of a scenario where you normally used to, what, there he is. Hey, buddy, you want to throw it? You want to throw it? There you go. My cat is going to do something. You would never use ASL for that. You just say cat meowing, or you don't have to say my cat is going to meow, or my cat meow future. Like that would be the way you would phrase that. So, have, have, or is this want? Have. This is want. Have. I feel like it's the same way. I feel like have is this. I feel like I have, I have something. I have. I'm gonna. Wa I'm. <laughs> have. Let's see. How do you do this? Oh yeah, of course it's this. Oh, that's lame. That's basic. That's so basic. Have of course is like this. Yeah, that's that's classic. That's a classic verb. Yes. All right. So, have of course is like this. I'm used to seeing this a lot of times too, when people used to say um, person. And so now when I see this, I think, now when I see someone do this, I think, oh, person. Because I'm used to seeing people do that for person so much. But that's definitely have. And it is part of ASL. And I'll definitely go back to it. So, uh, two, uh, this must be two with a different um, variation in English. Um, like two as in. I'm going to do something, and two is in. I'm going to a store or something like that. Again, not part of ASL. It, just point at something. This is an it. That, this, them. They're just point at it. That's part of ASL, but you only have to point. I looks like this. This means I. A lot of people get caught up with I being like this, but you don't have to over-initialize everything. Me, I same sign because a lot of the times you don't even have to point at yourself to still mean me such as um have right like i have right i don't have to say i have i just do this and it already means i have i don't have to do me have to permit to mean me the sign by it you know being direct towards me already has the word the proper I or me necessary so again if I do it like this I don't have to initialize it to mean I I'm just mean I by pointing at myself it's one of those things you don't have to overthink so this means I and if you want to over initialize everything this also means I but you don't have to do that in fact it's better off to just do this I definitely yes that <laughs> that's an easy one for this is interesting because I know a lot of people like to do this for four but I like this for four and I know some people like to do this for four but I'd say generally four is like this four four okay so how would you do that in a sentence um, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> hey, that falls right into it. So you just point at you, right? He point at him or that person that's not in front of you and I, but him, he, him and he both work just by pointing at a person. They don't even have to be in the room. You just point off in a general direction. So if I'm looking, if I'm, if I'm talking to you, or if I'm signing to you and I point away, I'm talking about either him, if it's in context, him or her, or she or he, doesn't really matter. And if you generally know the direction of where they is, like for example, say they walked out the room in that direction, you'd be like, hey, do you know who that person is? <laughs> it works that way too. With, I feel like with is this, which may not be the way how most people do it. So I'm gonna verify that, but with should be Bring together, bring together. Let's see. Let's see. ASL with. How do you do it? I feel, let's go with life print again. I feel like with it should be like this. Oh my. All right. 
Anthony Magnogosco. There we go. With. Yeah, with. Just like this. It's, you know, you're doing stuff with something. That's a simple. That's simple. On. I feel like, I don't know the exact sign for on, but I feel like it should be like this, right? Like, this means cover. This is on something. It should be on. Unless if you mean activate, as in like turn on a, a, a machine or something. So, uh, <laughs> sorry for people texting me. Um, so, uh, let's see. I don't know how, so like if I'm turning on a light, I'd just be like this, like, or that means shower, but like, I don't know, light, like, <laughs> That's how I mean by turn on a light or if I'm like turning on a like a, a TV, right? Uh, so I can watch shows or whatever shows are like this shows are like this. This is this is like funny, but uh, no, this is TV show TV show. What's this mean? This also means show. Well, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Anyway, how do you do on ASL on? I think it's this. I think this is a sign for on on. ASL on. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that works. Also, you should be able to um, fingerspell it. So O-N, that works as well. Ah, here we go. Take a look at some of the other ways this can be signed. On as in flipping a switch or as to turn the light on. Yeah, you just act it out. So like, you can turn a switch on. You can hit a button and turn it on. You can flip the switch and have the light turns on if you're talking about a light, but basically like, Hey, could you, could you like, have you ever signed to a guy and being like, Hey, could you like turn on that fan? People will know what you're talking about, right? That's generally it. And here he is acting out different kinds of ways. Here's lights turning on. So yeah, that's, that is well, good and done. I'd say I know that do, um, is one of those words in ASL where it's you sign it as a way to say the word. So D O, but over time, D O D O D O D O D O, we get lazy with how we sign things, and now this is the sign for do. And if we were like asking someone, so what do you do for a living? You do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you do for a living? It has to be like this. I'm like, what do you do for a living? It's like, what am I doing now? What am I doing for a living? It's like, yeah, what are you doing for a living? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? How many times have I been on a project where it's just like, what am I doing? Like, what's, what's everyone doing? This makes no sense, right? Anyway, that's yes. So D-O, 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 D-O. That's the sign that you're doing. Say is you just tap your hat, your face uh, underneath your chin twice. One, two. That's say. Um, something I learned a while back ago is... So this is the sign for talking. This is a sign for saying. So talk, talk, say. And what's kind of cool is the the smaller mo the movement, the less loud you're talking. So it's like, hey, I'm talking right now. I'm a I'm a big talking guy right here. Now I'm just like saying some things. I'm like I'm I'm t I'm talking, but it's kind of like a normal voice. Now I'm kind of like whispering. This is the sign for whispering. I'm a little bit whispering right now. I, I got a secret to tell you. It's super, super secret. Isn't that cool? Just keep it like, so this is a sign for secret. This is a sign for whisper. It's a sign for talking. And then, you know, you can like yell if you, if you want to. So a lot of, lot of activity here. Had nothing to do with that last word. And we're at 20, guys. This, you can do this emphatically. Like this is wrong, right? Like this is, this, this has... This is like all screwed up, right? <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> um, or you could just be like, hey, this. Or like, this thing. This thing, that. This, that. Or even, you could just be like this. This. It's all good. They. So it's not just pointing away at a group of people and doing this. It's like using multiple fingers to point away. So like if I was talking about like, hey, all of that... You know, like all these clothes, sure. But they, these, though, all those things over there, like all those multiple things, different things, take that away. 
so how do I put that put that in context? Generally, like if I'm talking about like you know one big thing or one group of closely related things, I can use one finger and just be like, hey, all of that needs to get out of here right now. Like all this paint on my car get rid of it like or I, I want like a wrap or something like that I don't know but if I'm like hey all these cars at the Jeep uh, dealership <laughs> suck <laughs> Jeeps aren't good cars hey I just needed an example I'm sorry for Jeep fans out there anyway they at oh people don't sign at I'm going where how do you use at in a sentence I'll be at the store one thing at a time one thing at a time. Yeah, you can say, oh, this is a sign for at. This is a sign for at. I do it like this. Sometimes I don't know what the sign is until I say it or sign it. But like one, you know, step at a time. One, you know, plan at a time. So it's like this. It's like this. This is how I would sign at. Maybe they sign it like this. No, it's definitely on the back of your hand. You might do it like this. I know some people might, who, who are like, kind of like default, kind of stiff double hand, but I would sign at like this, or this. I think either one's fine. I'm gonna have to verify that. Boo doo, boo, 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 boo. ASL, at. Uh, oh no, that's the at sign. Oh, I didn't even know there was a sign for that. That's cool. But I want to know at as in, come on. I feel like it's this guy right here, but I want to make sure at. Uh, hand speak. Yeah. This is also a really great lady who does a lot of ASL training online. Her website's great for reception training. So I find like life prints really good for uh, standard vocabulary, whereas a um, um, hand speak, which is uh, this this service, will show you like finger spelling of multiple words, and you have to guess what the words are, and then she'll she'll gives you the options to slow down how she does it, but really good. How does she do at? No, that's the at sign. I want to know how to do. At. <laughs> this is another website you better not do the at sign at of course at you can spell it come on guys come on guys sign for at uh now this is going to take this is what it, what a diversion this is oh here we go Warning, this next version is rarely used in ASL. It is not used in, in phrases like an at least, right? But you do sign at sometimes. Instead of signing, we will meet at my home tomorrow, you would sign tomorrow, meet at my home. True. Where at, exactly, you would just sign where. But that is the sign for at. And I don't do this often. I, I, I rarely do this, but that is the sign for at. And I think you can also do it like this, too. I don't think that's a problem. Yes. Don't ask me where I learned that. <laughs> but I just sort of know it. But is like this. But is so like this this could also mean like divorce. Or you can say like this person like broke away. Sometimes you have like a breakup, right? Breakup, divorce, but sort of like a a split of like ideas. I like it. I like it a lot. We Oh, I did the sign without even realizing it. We is like this. That's cool. I literally didn't know what it was, and my body was already doing it. That's awesome. His. Oh, no, his is not like this. His is possessive, so it would be actually his. Hers would also look the same way, too. Hers, 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 his. And I push it away from the person I'm talking to because we're talking about a third person at that point. So that's his. Woo! Guys, we are 25 words down. We are now getting ready to move forward. So f to the last 75. So from looks like this. I say I know that. That, just point. You're good. Not, not, 
This is like your general negation sign. So it goes underneath your chin, point out, that's not. It's very different from this, or like this, it's like this. And sometimes you might find people who don't even go all the way up to their face. Like General Amaya likes to sign her knots all the way down here, which is really annoying because <laughs> there's a lot of signs that look like this, or especially if you're doing something else with the other hand. And so if you do this, it looks really hard to, to see. So be aware of that. And I would say nt is very similar to the not. It's like just a negation. So don't, won't. Sometimes it comes out like this too. And I'm only saying that because people tend to use this for a, a, the general negation sign. By. I don't use by. I would say near. Something by something else. By. So like maybe near something. Oh man. ASL by do do yeah here we go looks like I looked it up already yeah it's close by would you say near oh by as in through what by as in through when would you ever use through when you mean by you're gonna do for buying if the English conference is what are you gonna what are do what we are doing we are doing to do this by buying we are going to do this by buying five houses a year we achieve how buy five houses every year yeah sometimes you avoid buy but if I was gonna say buy I would say near but this looks like the sign for near which makes me think I don't know what the sign for near is ASL near how do you sign near near is the same sign that's the same sign as near we're moving forward I know it it's the same sign as near she point we got it or shift your body it's like um do you like ice cream or melon like i like melon ice i i used to have a sweet tooth but i spent a year not eating candy and now i can't go back to it which is sad because i love candy but i hate candy now <laughs> ass i would say is the same thing as same like you're doing this like you're doing this like or the same as something else. Yeah, so I would say as is the same as that. What? So there are a lot of different ways to say what based on how old you are. My generation, what? 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 My past generation, they signed what like this. And if you go in like old school textbooks, what looks like that? Like what? That's like how my mom would do it. What? <laughs> what kids nowadays Fortnite generation this is how you say what now wait how they do it what <laughs> what what that makes no sense so like me what which in my head makes the most sense this is just old like what like what because now this in my in my generation this is like check or uh verify so i get confused when i see this and I hear someone say what? Journal of Maya actually does it the old way, which tells me how old her sign language um, voice actor or interpreter is on the show. Like that's that's an old lady. <laughs> because I do like what? And then kids today do this. And this is W into a T. So W T. W T. And it's more of it's less of like what and more like a huh? Yeah, so like you wouldn't say um what's behind that door doing like this you'd be like what's me like what's behind that door and if it turned out to be like Chewbacca you'd be like what so that's how that goes go you can go sometimes you can do I'm going go there's a lot of different ways you can say go just go I know that there oh there which one is that? There, possessive them. So wouldn't that be like this? And I'd be like, hey, that's theirs. That's theirs. This belongs to all of them, right? I think that's how you would do it. ASL, there. I think it's like this. You push in like a broad arc away from you. Yeah, that's how you do it. I think you push in a broad arc away from you. Yeah, perfect there theirs his all of theirs right can 
Looks like you're holding two cans. Can. All right. Can. Both of those work. Can. Who. I like to do who like this. I know there are variations. Like this. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like this. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, get. 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 Isn't that just get? You just take it? You just get something? I feel like ASL get. I feel it's just you just get something. Come on. Just make it simple. Get? No, it can't be that complex. I want to see variations. I challenge that. I double challenge that. I double challenge it. No, wait, back up. Back up, back up, back up. Get should just be like this. Boo! Why two hands to explain something that simple? To get. All right. Three ways down. So get looks like this. I've always, you could probably this that means have. I know this means find. We know have is like this. Take must be like this. So what was I thinking of? I bet that means take. take I think that's what I'm confusing these two with yeah yes so I'm confusing get with take which apparently are two different words <laughs> which is fine but this is means get this means take that's what I'm familiar with take to get an object to take an object I'm not sure why I am doing this to get better vocabulary so maybe sometimes I would want to say get when I meant take or vice versa, so I'm fine with that. That's no no sweat. Okay, so get, take. If looks like that. If make the eye sign, tap your cheek. If done, would I'm gonna say is like this. I know some people think would is like alright, so here's the thing. This is your general would, should, could sign. You just bend your finger, need to. It's like your general need to sign. It's like, and with your face in the context, you can be like, hey, you should do that. You would do that. You must do that. You ought to do that. You need to do this, right? It's all in context. But there's also another variation that's, that's basically will, which is like this. But if you're really lackadaisical about it, you'd be like, you would do that. <laughs> if you're really lazy as you give it out, you're like, you would, you would, you will, you will do this. You would do that. Yeah. So there's your variations there. Her, just point. All, A-L-L. -L. Um, and then over time, um, A-L-L -L became A-L-L. -L spread out a l l because sometimes when you double the letter you you slide it out a so a l l and then over time this became this all 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 <laughs> all and some people don't snap so like all but <laughs> most people aren't black <laughs> it's like all i'm going to do them all baby i got it all it's like okay so my it's like your, but you're pushing it towards you. Make. Oh, I feel like makes like this. I'm pretty sure that's that's pretty straight. About. So, like, here's a bunch of topics I want to talk about or do something with. And you just say, hey, all I'm all about that. I'm all about that. Done. No. All of your fingers powered up to your head. Think is just one finger. No. All the fingers. Yeah. And here we are at Will. Will. As is the same as same, same as. Up, just point up, dude. One, if you're just doing one, you can, well, if you're just doing one, you can emphasize this, like, one, one, that's how I like to do it. When I have the opportunity to just say literally one, I like to emphasize it, because this could mean, like, hey, I'm about to say something. This could mean only this could mean single this could mean <laughs> i mean there's a lot of different this could mean a person that's like standing up 
this can mean a lot of things. Like I could be indexing a lot of things. So like when I'm emphasizing just one, I like to do it this way. Or I could be like one, two, three, four. It's like if I was counting that way, or I can be one, two, three, four, like count. But like one, just hold up a finger. You're more or less good. Time, time, just tap the back of your hand. There, point, year, that's it. So S O. Oh, I'm sorry. S O. Up. Oh, S O. S O. And and if you're like saying so so, it's like that sign. It's like I'm feeling so so. Like how do you, like, oh, hey, you okay? It's like oh, I'm so so right now. Yeah. So think one finger. When it's like this. So it's like think of it as like your hands a clock and you're going around it. When, 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 which, I got two things here, I got this, I got this, which one I'm going to get, right? Them, those, two, those things over there, them, some, I have like something in my hand and I'm splitting in half, so like some, me, same, same way as I, people, um, I'm making the P, shape with the P handshake with both hands and I'm just doing like people people sometimes you can also do this too and you say hey man there's a lot of people around here too so you know like big crowds you know but this is like the I think the easiest way for me to understand people and if you're doing this it's more of like you're showing like a context of like you know like for example like this is like a troop of people like marching down the street right but you can just say hey there are a lot of people here that are like marching or like walking past so like by default this is like your basic people and then you can modify it to mean different things and act it out with your hands if necessary okay so that's 62 take my favorite not get which is apparently a very different word but that's fine take I always use take and I think that's probably the more common way because more people are one hand signs are going to be used way more often especially if they act out what they're supposed to mean more than like this which feels like the more formal way of saying take get take just, just take it just take it right out remember we said in in out into I feel like would be this into 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 should be that guess we're gonna have to verify that ASL into mm -mm -mm -mm. I feel like it should be this no incorrect that does not mean what she thinks it does that's birth how does she that's the sign for birth let me make sure I get that all right that looks like the sign for birth we're on a slight detour right now birth let's see I feel like I've been down this tangent before that is the sign for born this is the sign for born and once you say into let me see this again no lady that's the same sign okay so let's let's try something different into uh hand speak yeah I feel like it should just be this Prince oh let's see what she say disappear appear Prince no dude what am I doing into apparently that's a sign for it enter enter oh well then i think i can kind of understand why this sign could mean both born birth and enter when i was man i had a completely misunderstanding of what the sign for birth was representing because i thought that was just a lady you know <laughs> pushing out the baby that's the way i always interpreted it but it's more of like hey you know here's a wall separating like a room and you're just going into the room you're you're going into or you're entering the room so enter enter into 
same words it seems to be the case let me see yeah so apparently enter is like let me let me just verify one last thing a cell for enter enter yeah so the sign for enter is what the baby's doing when it's being born it's not like it's just being pushed out wow that completely I did not know that all right so that's cool so I learned something new that's great into is the same thing as enter which is the same thing as birth because it's generally something entering into a new life realm room you call it that's cool all right so just you just do this with your finger just it's like I'm just thinking I'm just thinking or I just know it forget about it uh, this is gonna be a hard one because there's a lot of different ways this can go I know C has a lot of um, different ways of doing it so like I can watch something I could look at something I could what I could I could see something and there are connotations that come with all of these so like you don't want to do this unless if you're like angry at something it's like dude I see you man like I'm watching you right but you can do like hey I'm watching I, I can see you from here like are you, can you see me hey you're like can you see me it's like yes I can see you or like yeah I can see you it's all good <laughs> it's all good so um, it's all a question of not only just like hey do you know how to sign for C like watch or view or I or like like we'll look at you just also know the context of how to do it because you don't want to just know this because this could be a little rude unless we may unless if you want to be rude him point yours push it towards you like there's an object I'm pushing it towards you that's what yours is come I'd say come works like this I'm like hey come I don't know if that makes sense but like come come why wouldn't that not be the sign for come let's see ASL should just be like this yeah you could do this but you should be able to do this too looks like it's uh, uniformly acceptable that works this works okay we're all good could 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 yes now one of my favorites now 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 this means let's go let's go as in like right now all right then uh, so it's typically coupled with more than or less than so like it's more than less than like as in like or as in it's similar to either way I know it other uh, other should be like let me see I gotta use it in my head other should be like this you just waggle an a sign like it looks like 10 other should look like 10 because any looks a lot like other but you don't rotate your hand so like this is any like anything right any but other other yeah so should work like that ooh ASL other other should just be this a lot of these links are already clicked on that's good so yeah other or else else similar thing but yeah you just waggle this back and forth let's see what he says your family who else signs how okay a lot of different ways to sign how how some people like to do how there's probably an extra one but I don't know it then 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 like then oh I had to think of like how to use it in a sentence because I just did then and then for the life of me I couldn't figure out <laughs> <laughs> what the definition of then is but like if you're doing something like this happened then this happened you do it like this so it's like one to two to three to four to five but you don't have to do three or four to five you just do then one to two one to two because a lot of people count one two 
some people count one, two, three, four, five. So like one, two, three, four, five, even though you do one, two, three, it's a thing. Anyway, one, two, this means then. So the sign for then should be <coughs> then. <coughs> that's then. This, then, that. That's what you're indicating with that. That's what then is. It's. It's without an apostrophe. I forgot what that means, man. So is it just it's or is it it is, which isn't an A cell? I don't know which one needs the apostrophe. Uh, I'm going to say apostrophe is it is and it's is possessive. So then you should say that. So I am pretty confident. I'm not even going to bother checking that up. It's is the possessive form of a, an it with a thing. Ours ours is everybody's so it should be like should be like this ours i think that's pretty right that has to be right ours look that up i bet you it's right ours two two literally just two it's the v sign basically more boop 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 boop, boop. more v's um these things <laughs> <laughs> want want hey i thought i yeah good news reed okay so uh want way uh way that way that way so way should be like this like it's like a like a street unless they mean like method I don't know way a way is in like a process or like what way which way did you use or something like that you use um, but if they mean like way as in which which way did you go like they mean way as in this like a street so process or plan is like this but I feel like this could also mean process. Ooh, I'm gonna have to look this up. I feel like way should be straightforward if it means street or like a path. And process, way, way, way as in like a process or a method should be like this. A S L way. That's my those are my two. And I've looked up all of these things way, 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 way in the past. So that's definitely way. Yo, yeah, well, here's method. How do you do method? Oh, what? So I'm aware of technical like this. The concept of method can be expressed using technical sign. The right hand is a five hand shape with the metal finger bent forward at the knuckle. What the hell? So what the hell? I'm going to have to see that. All right. So we got way as a street path done but I wanted to know process ASL is a process or way as a process ah that's fine that works that works that's really good um, process yeah steps as you as you do something that's fine what am I thinking of plan I'm thinking of planning then planning yeah, this is planning. So is way a variation of planning? I don't think it is. I may have been confused there. So way as in a method or way as in a street? So let me think of method again. How do you sign method? I don't I don't know that sign very well. Method. Sort of like a she's signing way in this in this sense. <laughs> she, she she's signing like. Hmm, let me see method. So method, show me what you got. Yeah, uh, you can see how it's a little different from everybody, right? So like life print says this signing savvy has it sort of like more of like the street because life print signing for technical or like technical, right? But that's not the that's not the connotation that I'm trying to use here and then I think it's like this because when I'm saying way like which way 
would you do this? I mean, kind of like way as in strictly method, not technical, but like method. So like, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm making the same sign that I would for street, but it's sort of just like, you know, which way? Like, which way did you go? Did you go this way? Did you go that way? Did you use this way? Did you use this way? Et cetera. So like, yeah. Uh, my friend Reed, 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 uh, 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 Reed Nice Wonder is texting me, but <laughs> I will get right back to him. And then, um, let's see, Anthony Magabasco is also texting me. I got Raul Cardona texting me too. We're having a good time. So look, like I said, is like this. Guys, we're almost wrapping up. We're at the last, we're less than 20 left. First, oh crap. Is first like this? Second, third, fourth, fifth? First? I don't know first. I don't know any of the ordinals. Let's see, ASL first. If I was gonna say first, I'd be like, hey, you came in first. You came in first, first? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, first, right? This is a variation of the same sign. You just tap, yeah, yeah. Because you count one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes when you're doing ordinals, you go one, two, three, four, five. When you're counting like cardinal numbers, you go one, two, three, four, five, right? So this is why you go then, first to second. So first should just be tapping it, that's it. Second, third, fourth, etc. All right, also, also is like and, or same, depending on how you're using it. So like I did this, and I also did that, you would just say, me do whatever, me do that, my, me do this, and me do that. So like, or you can say, she did this also, she does same. So like, you wouldn't say also specifically, you could just either say and or same and, and, and basically have functionally the same word. New should be like, et no, no, no. New is like this, new is like this, new is like that. Because you tap your head, you tap your head twice. It's not as it's not used often, but you should recognize it. It's either like this, twice, one, two, or like four, but twice. And it's like I did this because I needed to do X, Y, Z. So like you, you're just really like thinking about your head. It's more of like I did this, think, think. I wanted to do something else. That's kind of like how because works. I can show you a sentence. Hopefully there's some good ones on the internet. ASL because do 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 do. Let's see what this one says. Uh, don't be different. Ooh, that looks like forget. I don't like the way how she did that. <laughs> She's smiling as she says it. This looks like forget. The reason but now we're on another tangent. That's not how I would sign because. I sign because like this. Let's find out why. <laughs> because that sign she signed is forget, which is not why I would sign because that way. And let me show you hand speak, the sign for forget, just so we have context here. This is a sign for forget. Yeah, that looked just like how she signed because. And that's why because now looks like how I sign because, which is like that. Because, let's see, who signs because life print? Oh my, just a lot of words. Yeah, here we go. Because. Sometimes you could do this too. You can do this, but then it looks like forget. So don't do it that way. <laughs> And I think of it as like when I do some four, I'm doing four. But when I'm doing because, there's like two syllables in there. So I'm like because, because. So it's more like four, four. I'm doing this four, four. I want something else to happen. That's basically what I'm saying when I, when I, do, when I do that. That makes sense? Does that make sense? I want to do this because I want to have something else happen. I'm doing this four, four. I want something to happen. That's what I mean when I say because. That's a personal thing. I don't think that's that personal. I think that's a lot more common than just those people are showing. So 
uh, day. There's a lot of different ways to do day. You can do like classical day, you know, that's like the sun going down setting. Or you can just do day, which is like the easier way. You can say daily. Um, I think those are more or less all the days. Um, so like if I was doing something day by day, you could also do it that way. So like daily is like this, but if you really want to emphasize that you're doing this each day, I go run every day of the week, baby. So like, <laughs> uh, oh, and I, you saw how I skipped of there because you don't need to say of. So I think we also said that wasn't part of an ASL. Anyway, more again, not sure why you popped up. Use looks like this. The reason why you're seeing words pop up is because if they were used as adjectives or verbs or nouns separately, they're listed twice in this list. But anyway, that makes our work easier too. So no, oh, I'm sorry, yes, I know no. Wow, that's a really bad, crazy English sentence, right? No, yes, I know no. <laughs> no, yes. No, 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 yes, I know no. That is a accurate English sentence. Holy crap. Okay, so man is like this. He's like wearing a baseball cap. Find, you just pick it up. You know that. Here, it's like here. It's like, hey, it's like right here. I know it. Thing. Oh, it's like this. Like, hey, this is a thing. That's a thing. This is another thing. We just got a bunch of things here. So, yeah. Give. Many. You can also do it like this, too. This works. This is more like much. Keep that in mind. This is more like much or a lot. This is like a lot. A lot. Much. Many. I know it seems crazy, but... As much as like give and take have, or get and take have different uses, you want to make sure you use lot, much, and many in the right context as well. So, well, oh man, guys, and that's it. That's all a hundred. And I think that was pretty straightforward. The B and of, let's see, yeah, man. That was intense. That was an intense. That wasn't that bad, actually. Who would? Did I have any problems here? People, him, see, could, come, then look, because. I think the only thing that I'd point out is because could look like this, but it looks like forget. And if you're signing very fast, people are going to confuse that. So what I like to do is one finger. And I like to double emphasize it so that people know that I'm saying because and not for, because for looks like this, and you don't want to have those to be confused either. And think looks like this, so I just try to make it a little bit more distinct. It's a courtesy that I think in context works really well, and I don't think it's I'm the only person that does that, but you will find small little variations like that throughout all these signs, depending on where you go and who you go out to talk with. And I recommend that you go do that because it's fun go out and talk with someone you'll learn some really cool things anyway that was a hundred words in sign language join me next time as i go over the next 100 words on this list and we might learn some really cool things all right see you guys next time bye have a good one